hi guys welcome back to my channel don't forget to like share subscribe all the good stuff today we got a manslaughter charge so let's get into the story man accused of pushing his partner to his death breaks down in the witness box frederick pollard suffered catastrophic head injuries in injuries in the fall from on the street from an elevated front garden asked the boy and that's in Kodak. a man accused a man of pushing his partner to his death breaks down in tears in the witness box at his trial a gravely injured and bleeding Frederick Pollard was found on the pavement outside the home he shared with Andrew T Tudor Jones in April this year. A Frenchman never regained consciousness and died short time later. Jones is accused of causing the death of the 48-year-old by pushing him which, with such force that he fell from an elevated front garden in the Cladac property onto the ground below. The defendant denies charges of manslaughter. On Friday, the 47-year-old Jones entered the witness box at Swansea Crown Court to give evidence. The bank employee told the court he had met Mr Pollard on a dating website in October 2017. The pair effectively moved in together the following year. On April 17th this year, he said he met a group of former bank staff for lunch before going shopping at B&Q and then returning home to Gellian Street. He said his unemployed partner, who he referred to as Fred, was at home. He'd been drinking and appeared upset and agitated. The court heard both men subsequently went to different corner shops in Swansea Valley Village but it became apparent something had happened during Mr Pollard's trip to the Premier store, which annoyed him. He said he went to report the shop for to trading standards. Jones said his partner remained agitated during the course of the evening, going up and down the stairs to bed a number of times and trying to contact friends on the phone. Then he began shouting before pushing the TV over and smashing a number of drink, drinks and coasters. In response to questions from barrister Siobhan Gray, the defence said he told his partner to go outside, get some fresh air and calm down. Mr Pollard walked out into the front room and slammed the door behind him. Jones told the court he was concerned about Mr Pollard may do in that state of mind, so followed him in the hallway. The defendant said his partner was standing by the open front door and he nudged him forward out onto the porch and though the doorway onto the outside door before returning to the lounge and cleaning up the mess. He told the court he then sat on the sofa with a glass of wine. But when, after some five minutes, Pollard did not return, he went to look for him. He said he went down to the lower part of the garden so he could look up and down the street for his partner and saw him laying below on the pavement. John described how he rushed to his stricken man, checked a pulse and then cradled his partner's head in his hands while neighbours called 999. Breaking down in tears, the defendant said, it was my fault. I was out there i don't know what happened i miss him so much i just wish i'd never wish wish it never happened at all asked by the barrister why he had told police at the scene that his partner fell from the garden wall he said i was in a panic and shock he said i thought if i say i nudge the partner out of the door he, who is going to believe me miss gray asked him if he had feared he would not be believed if he told the officers the truth. Jones replied, I thought they would take me away there and then. I wanted to be with Fred and Fred was on my, the, on my only thought. Asked by the barrister if there was asked by the barrister if he had been told the police was a lie the defendant replied it was a lie i didn't see it i don't know what happened
The court had previously heard how Mr Pollard suffered a catastrophic head injury in the fall and had broke the top of his spine into two pieces. He was pronounced dead at Morriston Hospital at 9.27pm the same evening as the incident. Jones denies manslaughter and the trial continues. Man pushes French lover to his death, demonstrating he was in control. Frederick Pollard suffered catastrophic head injuries after being pushed from an elevated front garden in the couple's house they shared. A man who pushed his partner to his death at a Swansea Valley house they shared have been jailed for four years. Andrew Tudor Jones shoved Fad pa Frederick Pallade which such force the Frenchman fell from the elevated front garden of the property suffering catastrophic head injuries. Jones has denied manslaughter claiming he only nudged his partner out of the house following a heated exchange of words but the 47 year old was convicted following a trial at Swansea Crown Court. Spent sending him to prison the judge said he believed Jones was trying to demonstrate he was in control of the situation when he pushed Mr Pallad during the trial and the court heard the men had met on a dating website in 2017 and Mr Pallad moved in with bank workers house in Cladac the following year. On April 17th this year Mr Jones went for lunch with a group of retired colleagues before shopping in B&Q and then returning home to Gellian Street. Mr Pollard, aged 40, 48 at the time, had been at home all day and said to being upset and agitated. During the course of the evening, a row broke out. Mr Pollard had having a tantrum. This led to Jones ejecting him from the house. Given evidence, Jones said he only nudged his partner through the door onto the front step so he could get some fresh air and calm down. But an injury but the jury rejected that version of events and convicted him of manslaughter on Tuesday. On Wednesday, Jones returned to the dock for sentencing. The court heard that he had previous convictions. Gray QC for Jones said since the incident, the defender had lost his job of 22 years with the bank and put his house up for sale, adding his life as he knew it is now over. Andrew Turner Jones was sentenced to four years for manslaughter and his partner at the Cladac house they shared. He said in his evidence, Jones had told the court he felt guilty about his partner's death and she said the defendant was remorseful. The barrister said he was trying, he has been held accountable for his partner's death and will have to live with that for the rest of his life. Judge Keith Thomas told Jones he accepted he did not intend to kill or seriously injure his partner, but at the risk of such an outcome from his actions would be clear to be a responsible person. He said Mr Pollard had had a tantrum on the evening in question in order to demonstrate that you were in control, the defendant had pushed him. Judge described the steep flight of steps from from the road to Jones's house, which Mr. Pollard patch partially fell. Yeah, they're quite high, aren't they? Most of the houses in Kladak are like that, actually. Quite, quite high-level garden gardens, and the houses are quite far up. 
Jones was sentenced to four years. He will serve half that period in custody before being released on license to serve the remaining in the community. Speaking after the sentencing, South Wales Police Detective David Butt, well, that's an unfortunate name, from the force major crimes investigation team said we hope today's verdict gives some comfort to mr pollard's family our sympathies remain with them domestic abuse often goes unreported and can lead to tragedy i would urge anyone who is suffering from dv or know someone to please report it to us and allow us to take action we know how difficult this can be and we have specially trained officers to support you. If you feel unable to speak to us, there are a lot of other agencies that can offer support and advice. Please do not suffer in silence. He added, finally, I would like to thank the local community for their continued support throughout this investigation. The family of Mr. Pallard paid tribute to a former chef. In a statement, they said, We as a family are still coming to terms with the loss of Fred, our father, son, uncle and brother. He is dearly missed by us all here in Swansea and in France and was taken from us far too soon. He was a loving, caring person with a passion for anything creative. I think most people will remember him for the amazing chef that he was, just like we do. His attention to de detail, perfectionism, was inspiring to us all. His talent will never be forgotten. We would like to thank his neighbours. Although they did not know him, they still rushed to his aid. We would also like to thank the emergency services who attended the scene and also South Wales Police for their thorough investigation. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. I'm still not sure. I think they actually loved each other and just got into a bit of a fight. Drinking involved. Mm, I'm not sure, but let me know what you think in the comments. Is four years a bit of a stretch for an argument that got a hand? Mm, I'm still not sure. Let me know what you think. And I'm thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and thumbs up. And I shall catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.